Kalia Copper, Candace Parker, and Elena Deladon are featured in Fast Twitch's Game Changer Collection. If you're not familiar with Fast Twitch, it's um, Gatorade's energy drink. And I had the pleasure of sitting down with Kalia Copper last week to talk about this partnership, along with her being a three-time All-Star, and to talk about some other things that she has going on on and off the court. This Fast Twitch collaboration is reminiscent of the WA's original moniker, We Got Next. And this is a continuation of that. Stay tuned. Welcome to Brother From Another, Kalia Copper, uh, three-time All-Star, NBA champion, finals MVP. I'm so excited to be talking to you today. Um, averaging 16.4 points, five rebounds on the season. Um, I'm so excited to be here with you. Um, All-Star is around the corner. You were selected a three-time All-Star uh, this year. I wanted to just get your thoughts on, does it feel just normal for you now that when it's like you're becoming a third-time All-Star or is it still excitement in any way um, going to the All-Star game? It's still excitement. Um, I think uh, it's it's hard. Uh, to to do um but I think like from the first time I wanted to do it again so I wasn't a one-hit wonder and then I wanted to run it back because I wanted to get it three times in a row so uh it's something I'll never stop chasing um so yeah I'm I'm super happy now I, I'm always living in the moment and gonna be excited about every single small accomplishment yeah, and it's in Vegas this year. Um, there was like a big push to sort of have it overlapping a little bit with NBA Summer League. Are you excited for it to be in Vegas or does it not make a difference to you? Everyone seems to be really excited about going to Vegas. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. I think Vegas is nice. Um, the city is super nice. The weather's, you know, the weather's going to be good. So, uh, yeah, I have no complaints. Okay. So you've had a lot going on, um, partnerships, just you've been out a lot pitching for the Cubs. Um, and I'm excited because to learn about your new uh, partnership relationship with Fast Twitch. I know it's a new energy drink from Gatorade and you're going to be featured in its Game Changer um, collection along with Candace Parker and Elena Deladon. Can you tell me a little bit more about that partnership? Uh, it's something that I'm, I'm grateful to be a part of, uh, happy to be called a, a game changer, happy to share my story. Um, I'm able to inspire others, but, um, I think that, you know, watching Candace and Elena growing up from, from seeing that to being a part of a campaign with them is super humbling. Um, and I think they're, there will also be a, a little girl, maybe from Philly, who who loves me and loves my game and admire my process and see how um, it went for me and feel inspired and maybe we'll have the same thing. And then years to come, we'll be talking about how she's a part of something with Gatorade and how she uh, related to my story and um, just felt inspired and can have that full circle moment. What's your favorite flavor? Damn, I'm actually drink. I'm actually drinking strawberry lemonade right now, but tropical mango is my favorite. Your favorite, okay. Um, I'm a I'm a big fan of anything lemonade and mango, so those sound like two good choices. You mentioned North Philly and maybe aspiring, you know, someone from. Well, you said Philly, but I we know you rep North Philly. Um, it, it, I I saw like recently, you know, like there was some um video of you and Dawn Staley before a game. Um, she's such a great ambassador just for like women's basketball overall. Um, do you feel like with her being from Philly and you being from Philly, like some, I don't know, sense of like importance to kind of represent, because I went to school in Philly, I went to Temple, so I'm very familiar with North Philly, but does it mean something for you like that people coming out of that area, maybe looking up to you, looking up to Dawn, two huge names coming out of, you know, that area? Yeah, it means a lot because um, when someone is from where you're from and, and, and look just like you um, and has made uh, strides and has chased their dreams and have accomplished some of the things that they've wanted to accomplish, 
despite where they're from, uh, that's like, that gives you automatic hope. Um, so I think me growing up and it was like seeing Dawn and um, seeing what she did, you know, at, at every level, you know, whether it was a player um, or as a coach, uh, I think she's done it and whatever she put her mind to, uh, she did it. So it, it wasn't about um, where she from or the adversity she had to face. Um, it was just about whatever you want to do, lock in on that and you can accomplish anything. So I think she was definitely a, a big inspiration. So for me, um, I want to be the same. Um, I want there to be someone who is, is looking up to me from where I'm from also and um, just feel inspired. Yeah, I mean, you're part of the Game Changer collection. What way do you feel? I mean, there's a lot of ways, but for you personally, what do you feel you bring to the game and, and why you're viewed as a Game Changer? I think my story, uh, you know, uh, I'm a franchise player in Chicago now, uh, but I wasn't like a, a, a pick who came here and became a, a franchise player. I was traded here in right. 2016, 17, whatever it was. I'm a mystic. I sat down for a couple of years. I, I clapped for my teammates. Then I started to play a couple of minutes here and there. Um, and then, you know, I, I just stay ready, uh, continue to work out and continue to stay ready so that when that preparation met an opportunity for me, I would be ready. So, you know, in 2020, when I got that uh, opportunity to, to be a starter, for me, it was just about like, you know, people, sometimes you, you ask for the opportunity, like I deserve it. I want it and when you get it. It's like, what do you do with it? But for me, it was about getting it um, and really taking advantage and, and, and not looking back. So, for me, being able to take off from 2020 and then continue to build on that every single year was important. And, and I think it is it's good for my story um, because sometimes it's just not handed to you. Sometimes you got to work a little harder. Sometimes you got to stay patient uh, and and things fall into place. Yeah, I mean, we definitely saw that growth and it fall into place for you the year that the sky won the championship. You were the finals MVP. There's that iconic photo of you standing over Sophie Cunningham. Uh, did you ever think, like, I mean, after you saw it going around, but that it would just like blow up the way that it did? I mean, like so many times when there's a story on you or something, that photo just seems to always be somewhere. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think it would go as crazy as it did. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, I think it was a, a moment for women's basketball, you know you being allowed to be yourself, be your, be passionate, um, be competitive and, you know, have that, have that killer, killer mindset to you on the court. Um, I think that, I don't know, I just kind of got this alter ego on the court where I'm just this dog, like I'm just this competitor. So sometimes seeing the photo is like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's just like, it's, it's a, it's a sick picture, but it's like, it's fire. But um, it's just me on the court. Okay. So you you talked about, you know, leading the team. And, you know, you also have some new teammates, Courtney Williams being one of them. I see you championing her a lot, you know, on your timeline. But you the, the sky have just gone through so many changes. And so right now, how do you feel about, you know, sort of being the face, the leader, working with your new teammates? What are what are your individual and I guess collective goals for the team this year? I know right now the record is eight and nine. Um, is it just to make the playoffs? Is there more? Like what do you see and, and what's your goal? I think once you get a you get a taste of of winning, you know, at the highest level, winning a championship, that's what you want to chase. Uh, so that's what I'm chasing. Uh despite, you know, whatever, whatever the team looks like, whatever the adversity we hit, like that's the ultimate goal. But um, if we're, if we're taking baby steps, you know, I want this team to make the playoffs. Um, and then, you know, we go from there. Um, but ultimately I, I want to win. I want to win a championship. If I could win it every single year, that's what I want to do. Uh, so yeah, it's, and, and you don't get the individual things without the, the team thing. So uh, you definitely got, you got to win. Um, nobody cares if you're not winning. So uh, I want to win and then 
all the, the, the personal goals and everything will follow. For sure. Well, I'm going to be really excited to look out for you at All-Star. Maybe any personal goals, trying to get that All-Star MVP this year, maybe? Cool. Yeah, actually, that's on the list. Yeah, that's, yeah, why not, right? Let's go get that. Yeah, claim it. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. We really appreciate you coming on, brother from another. I'm a big fan of your game, big fan of your growth, and I just can't wait to watch you grow more and kill it like you always do thank you thanks i appreciate it hey thank you for watching brother from another if you haven't hit that subscribe button go ahead and do that now don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on peacocktv.com and on sirius xm channel 85